Hi, I'm Carmen Alana Tibbetts. Welcome to the Agoja Art Studio. With this video, I'm going to be starting something new with the Agoja Arts Channel. I'm going to be giving you a glimpse of how I spend my time during the week. Uh, it's not just a lot of sewing and pretty finished things, it's a lot of work behind the scenes. And so I thought it would be useful for a lot of you that are thinking about starting an art business or are thinking about doing it full time to have a little bit of insight into what a um, an art practice and a professional studio artist actually does during the week because it's not actually very much artwork. It's a lot of business related things. So I'll be going through sort of a typical week because I don't have a set schedule from day to day. There are a lot of things that I do every day, but generally I do things kind of in large blocks of time and generally things are set up on more of a seasonal basis instead of like a daily or a weekly basis. So I'll be doing this oh, maybe two or three times a month. I guess maybe three times would be kind of optimistic. So at least twice a month. So you have kind of an idea of what's going on uh, during the week. And then also I'm going to be talking a little bit about the things that I'm thinking about. Because as I do various things, I actually think about things that I want to do artistically in the future. So there are some things that I do that don't require a lot of thought as I'm working with my hands. So some things overlap. There's a lot of thought processes and a lot of handwork things that kind of overlap. Uh, generally speaking, how do I spend my day? Uh, I work at home. I have a studio at home and this studio here is where I do all of my sewing. So all of the fabric related things happen here. I do a lot of work on a computer and a lot of digital work and that all happens somewhere else in another room. So I have an office elsewhere and I did that on purpose so that I would have to actually get up and move around during the day. Uh, one of the unfortunate things for me is that the kitchen is on the way with a big stash of chocolate. So since I've started working at home in the studio I've gained a little bit of weight because I always snag a piece of chocolate as I'm going back and forth. Not a good idea, so if you're thinking about doing something at home, don't have a huge stash of chocolate. But at this point I'm addicted, so I kind of have to do that. So I do sewing here, computer stuff over there, and that means that I am moving around back and forth during the day. I am at home. I start uh, usually about 8.30 in the morning. And one thing that I do almost every day is I start with a little bit of hand quilting. I almost always have a quilt in the frame and I do three threads a day and what that means is I measure out three lengths of thread and just do the hand quilting to do that. And that turns out to be 20 minutes, a half an hour and for me that's a good way to sort of ease into the day and think about the things that I need to do that day. Whether it's sewing or something with handwork in the studio or whether it's something on the computer or planning for the future. So it's, it's a way to get something done physically, but also a way to sort of mentally ease into what has to happen that day. So for this week, I actually spent, let's see, I made a list of everything. Of course, i got to use my glasses now. Uh, I actually spent, oh, I guess about six hours doing some quilting because I was doing a lot of thinking as well. So normally it would just be about 20 minutes a day but I was doing a lot of thinking and when I'm kind of distracted I end up at the quilt frame so I'm not just distracted and doing nothing. Uh, I spent about a day sorting through my scrap bin and cutting up my scraps and you might think well that's kind of a crazy thing to do but Take a step back and think about what it is that I do with my work. A lot of what you have seen is the art dolls and those are all made out of recycled clothing. So I receive clothing from a lot of sources. I have to sort through it all and then when I make dolls I cut out all of the pieces for the dolls in their clothing and then in any odd sizes go into my scrap bins. So all of those scraps are used and I use them then either for quilts or to make little birds that I sell as kind of a, a quickie purchase uh, either at art shows or I send them off to galleries where they sell very well for galleries. 
and then all the tiny little bits I use to stuff those little birds. So absolutely everything is utilized in the studio. And that means that I have to spend time going through those scraps and cutting them up for all the pieces every once in a while. So as soon as the bin is full, I have to sort it, I have to cut it up into all of the pieces, and then that goes on to processing the next step. So I spent a whole day with that this week. Uh, I spent a whole day doing selling and marketing research. So I made up a whole new list of potential galleries to show my work, and I'm investigating doing some Facebook ads, which is something that doesn't make me happy because I don't like Facebook ads, but when they work for people, they really do work. And the thing is, I run a business, so I do have to look into this sort of thing and see what would work for me and what I would have to do to make that work. So whole day doing that. So that was not anything related to art. That was all just promotion of the art. Uh, I spent a whole day updating my website. So <laughs> it takes me a long time because I have to go through all of the photographs of all of the artworks that I have available. I have to do an inventory check. I have to make sure that everything looks good, is in the appropriate format, and then I upload all of those images onto the website. I put all the text into the website, and so it just takes a lot of time. I suppose a lot of people would be able to do it very quickly, but for me it means that I have to make sure that everything is ready to go and then, you know, getting everything ready to go is what takes a lot of time. So a whole day with the website. Uh, I edited a video, which is one that I posted earlier in the week, and I actually transcribed the audio for that, which is something that I've started doing that's new, and then I posted that on YouTube, and the whole total job took about four hours. So that's a long time. A lot of people just shoot a video with their phone and then they just upload it right there but I don't do that. I edit things for sound. I actually record sound separately so for this video I have something else recording sound and then sometimes I will add text to the video so it takes time to do that and it's not a super professional job but it's a step above just shooting something with your phone and slapping it onto YouTube. So I think that it should be just a little bit better, just a little more professional than just, you know, the instant upload. Uh, and of course I had to do oh, all different kinds of emails for a whole variety of reasons. A lot of professional obligations, um, emailing galleries, just a whole variety of miscellaneous work-related things, and that's a minimum of an hour and a half a day. It takes a lot of time because sometimes people ask you questions, you have to go and find the answer, uh, you have to figure something out, you have to check inventory, blah, 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 blah. It takes time. Um, so then sewing, actual sewing of something, and in this case it was the little birds, I spent about six hours this week doing that, just like an hour or so every day. And I am getting ready for the big end of year sale on the website. And also a lot of galleries are getting ready for the end of year holiday sales. And so they're requesting inventory and I have to make sure that I have enough to keep everybody happy. So I have to do some sewing at some point. And right now it's not the cloth figures, it's all those little birds because that's what's selling right now. Uh, I am also researching some new quilt options because I have all those scraps cut up and so I'm thinking about what to do and not quite sure where I'm going to go with that. Maybe I'll share a little bit about that later in the future. And just, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my end of year sale. I have decided that I'm going to take it off of Etsy, which is what I've usually done, and put everything on the website. And I'm splitting my work between what I have uh, on the website and Etsy so that now all of my actual sewn work is on the website and just the digital downloads and patterns are going to be on Etsy. So I'm thinking about that because that actually means a lot of work. For those of you that do stuff on Etsy, you know it's not just a quick upload of all the information. There's a lot of stuff that has to go into each listing. So I usually have to think about all of that before I actually get started and I make lists of things so that I know what to do when I'm actually doing it. So that is a quick rundown, kind of, uh, on what I did this week. 
I don't even know if that adds up to 40 hours. Generally, I start work at 8.30 in the morning and I end about 4, 4.30 in the afternoon because I work at home so I can make dinner. Um, but I don't really take a lunch time. I just kind of eat while I'm working in the studio, which is bad, I know, but I do it. Um, so anyway, we'll be continuing with this. I hope it's interesting to you. I think it's interesting and I think it's important for people to know what it is that a studio artist is actually doing from day to day to run a business. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I would be happy to answer your questions in these videos. So until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.